Good morning, Year 7. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. It was so nice to see you earlier this week for the Zoom session. I really, really enjoyed it and I hope you found it an interesting and a bit more varied lesson than our standard um, recorded presentation. So, um, so today we'll be doing a character analysis on Toad. So could you please write the date and title? The title is Toad Character Analysis. For your do now, what do we know so far about each of the characters we've been introduced to? Write down at least two adjectives per character and add any details like quotations if you can. So you're copying out the table, adding in, um, adding in details for the characters. Pause the video to do that now. So these are some adjectives you may have written down. So for Mole, excited and loyal. Ratty, friendly and helpful. Badger, gruff and solitary. Otter, quick and bright. And Toad, brash and boisterous. So if you didn't get these adjectives, please could you write them down now? So explicit information is information that is obviously stated. Implicit information is information that needs to be worked out or deduced. So let's look at this little section. Ratty, said the mole suddenly, one bright summer morning. If you please, I want to ask you a favour. What explicit and implicit information is provided here? Pause the video for a minute or two to write this out. So the explicit information is that Mole wants a favour from Ratty. The implicit is that time has passed and it's now summer and Mole and Ratty have a good relationship. Because generally, if you ask somebody for a favour, you tend to have quite a good relationship for them, with them. So pause the video to make sure you've got this written down. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is read the first page of the extract which has been provided for you on class charts. Then, after you've read it through, in your books, write out what we can learn about Toad using quotes to support your statements. So you're going to write a list of statements about Toad that you've worked out using the first page of the extract. And if you can, for each statement that you make about him, you're using a quote from the extract as evidence supporting that statement. Pause the video to do that now. Okay, so these are some of the things that you may have written. Toad is consistent. Early or late, he's always the same fellow. He enjoys spending time with others, others and makes them feel welcome. Always good-tempered, always glad to see you, always sorry when you go. So you've got a tricolon on there and the repetition of always to indicate just how sociable he is. Toad has good and bad qualities. He is good-natured and so affectionate, but he's not very clever and it may be that he is both boastful and conceited. Toad lives in a very grand house, showing that he is rich. Handsome, dignified old house of mellowed red brick, with well-kept lawns reaching down to the water's edge. Toad is able to buy whatever he wants, even if it is wasteful, as he doesn't use things. Large boathouse, many handsome boats, none in the water, and the place with an unused and deserted air. Toad tires of things quickly, and has always got a new interest or fad that he's focused on. Boating is played out. He's tired of it and done with it. I wonder what new fad he has taken up now. So if you didn't get any of these, please could you write them down in your book? So we're now going to move on to quote explosions. And you're going to choose at least two of the quotes below to explode, analysing language and structure. So we haven't done quote explosions before, but they're a really good way to pick out language and structure techniques. So you've got one on the slide for you as an example. Always good tempered, always glad to see you, always sorry when you go. So good tempered and glad, these are adjectives which suggest pos positivity. So you would highlight or, under um, or underline good tempered and glad, then draw an arrow coming from those words and write um, adjectives suggest positivity. Then you would highlight or underline the word always, which appears three times, and you would do that in a different colour, ideally. And you would write, um, repetition of always shows that Toad is consistently enthusiastic and sociable. And then somewhere else you could write, tricolor indicates Ratty knows Toad well and has many experiences with him. So the word always being repeated 
shows that he's known him for a very long time. After all, if you just met someone, you can't say that they're always lovely because you only have a very limited experience to draw upon. And then the focus on you shows that Toad is welcoming, a welcoming host and keen to engage with those he meets. So this is all the, um, all the information, both explicit and implicit, that you could work out from that quote using the technique of a quote explosion. So now you're going to do the same thing with two of the quotes that are listed on the left hand side of the slide. So just what I've done on the slide, you're going to do for two of the quotes on the left. Please could you try and analyse language and structure. They don't all have structure that you can talk about, but they do all have language that you could analyse. So please pause the video to have a go at doing that now. Okay, what I'd like to do now is read the second page of the extract, which finishes, and you shall see what you shall see. Please could you highlight the key parts of the extract, um, so let's say extract, which tell us about Toad. For a challenge, please could you pick out where language and structure has been used to great effect. So things like powerful verbs, exclamatory sentences. So the same thing that you did with the quote explosion, highlighting or underline, underlining keywords and structure devices. Um, as a challenge, have a go doing that when you're reading the second page of the extract. Pause the video, please, to do that now. Okay, so here I've got some of the key um, parts of the text that tell us about Toad, and I've written in some ideas about what they tell us about Toad. So can you pause the video for a minute to read through the highlighted words and phrases as well as my annotations. Okay, so your final task, how was Mr. Toad presented? I'd like you to write a paragraph to answer this question and submit it to class charts. So you don't need to submit anything else, you just need to submit this paragraph. Make sure you've used evidence from the text, used correct terminology in your answer, explored the meaning of individual words, considered how we learn about Toad from other characters and from his own behaviours that we witness and think about the effect on the reader. So one way you could do this is by using um, the peel structure, which we're going to talk about now. So you can use this structure if you would like, but you don't have to, it's only a guide. So Mr Toad is presented as, I do recommend you start your paragraph in this way. This is seen in the quote, and then you can go on to analyse language and or structure. So in terms of talking about language, you can talk about similes, metaphors, personification, or keeping it simple, refer to the individual word class of a word, and then talk about the connotations or associations or deeper meaning of a particular word. If you're analysing structure, you can talk about tricolons, repetition, um, exclamatory sentences, and talk about the effect of the choice of structure. And for the link, you talk about how this affects the reader and what it makes them feel or believe. So you can use that structure to help you if you would like. So pause the video now, please, to write your paragraph. Okay, and that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you found it interesting and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Have a lovely weekend.